Due to there not being much on the Dryden and Carcaridans, this week there is two videos out. Make sure to check out the other video by clicking the eye in the top right of your screen. Anyway, back to the video. Hello and welcome back to Vault Holocron, where today I am going to talk about the Carcaridons. The Carcaridons are an amphibious aquatic species with sharp teeth and webbed hands and feet, which allowed them to swim really fast. The Carcaridons also designed the Hydroid Medusa, which were giant cyborg jellyfish with armour and cybernetic enhancements. The Carcaridons come from the aquatic planet Carcaris. Carcaris was in a system which neighboured Moncala. I am now going to go through some notable Carcaridons. First up is Tas Galim, a Carcaridon senator which unlike Riff Thompson stayed loyal to the Republic during the time of the Clone Wars. Next up is Jorkat, a criminal which tried to steal from Genza, which was the daughter of Count Gora, which was the Count of Sereno during the reign of the Galactic Republic. Jorkat was fought off by Count Dooku, who was a Jedi initiate at this point, using an Electro Staff. Now for Rusko, a Karkaradon which was second in command to the Crime Lord Oga Gara at Black Spire Outpost on Batu. He later sided with the First Order, but was killed when the Lieutenant Wolfgar Kaff's ship was set to explode by the Resistance's slicer, Kriki. Next up is Lee Skillen, a Karkaradon which worked for Onaka Transport Solutions, a company made by Honda Onaka. She supervised the company while the owner was off world. Now for Rufork Thompson, also known as Sharp Tooth. He was a Karkaradon which was a stunt racer and played in the Moncow Opera. He injured a Finn during a performance of the Necker Chilsa. After the injury, he joined a group led by Sisside Ock and Colby Sparadu, which were former partisans, also known as Sorgerera's militia and rebels. This group was called the Gullet Gang. The Gullet Gang successfully completed a heist to get one of the treasure caches which Maz Kanata spoke about in her Smuggler's Guide. The treasure cache was on Iskalon, however, they were caught after stashing the treasure and were imprisoned in Megalox Beta Penitentiary. Now for Riff Tamsin, a Karkaradon which was a commander and a warlord for the Confederacy of Independent Systems. Dooku tasked Tamsin with breaking the peace between the Mon Calamari and the Quarren, which was already diminishing, to start a war. He conspired with Nosori, a Quarren chieftain, which believed that joining the Confederacy of Independent Systems was best for the Quarren. Rift Tamsin killed the Mon Calamari king, Yos Colina, accelerating the conflict. The Gungans later helped the Mon Calamari with their battle, however, Rift and the Quarren were winning. Most of the Mon Calamari and Gungans were imprisoned and made to work as slaves. Prince Lee Char avoided capture for a long time, but was eventually captured. He tried to appeal to Nessori, stating that Riff and the Confederacy did not care for the Quarren, and that Riff would rule. This plea worked as in Lee Char's execution, Nessori freed Lee Char and the prisoners, arming them. Riff Tamsin fought many of the forces attacking, and killed many of them with explosive knives. However, Lee Char killed Riff Tamsin by shooting an explosive knife into him and detonating it. Some less notable Karkaradons are the Karkaradon Enforcers, which were soldiers under Tamsin, and an unidentified Karkaradon, which was a prisoner in the Republic Judiciary Central Detention Center. I know this was a short video, so if you want more, go to the Dryden Explain video. Anyway, thanks for watching and bye.